All right, students. Uh, so there was a little bit of confusion on my part. I skipped over four lessons, and so I had posted on Edmodo that we were going to be doing lessons 98 through 101, and thank you, Avery, for catching that. And so now we're going to go back, and sorry for the late post. Normally they will be up, especially next week because everything's done, they'll be up by 8 a.m. on Monday morning for you guys. So again, the format that we're going to do is I'm going to do individual lessons for each Saxon Algebra Half lesson so that you can watch them one at a time. You can watch them as you do your homework. You can review them if you need more help. Um, I, but again, don't hesitate to reach out. We can do live Zoom um, tutoring sessions uh, or text, email, whatever you need. And then next week when we do our Zoom that's scheduled for 1.30 next Monday, we will be going over touching base, seeing if you need any help with lessons 94, 5, 6, and 97, okay? So if you open your books to lesson 94, we are talking about what a term is and we're talking about adding like terms, okay? And so a term is anything that's separated by a plus or minus sign, okay? So think of anything separated by a plus or minus sign. This is called an expression, okay? And we have many terms in this expression. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, because we're being separated by plus and minus signs, okay? Um, terms can only be combined or simplified with other like terms, okay? So what that means is x's can only be added with x's, y's can only be added with y's, and then whole numbers can only be added with whole numbers. So these whole numbers we call constants, with it, but they're also still terms, okay? So just a number by itself can be called a constant or a term, both apply. Okay, so if you, if you look at this expression, we have x's, x's, y's, y's, and constants. So this one could be simplified greater, whereas this one only has x's, y's, and a constant, or a, a term of the whole number three. So you cannot simplify this term anymore. So if we were gonna simplify this term, what I like to do is bring colors into it. So I'm gonna circle all of my x's, and this is like saying I have one X, okay? And this is like saying I have three X's. So how many X's do I have total? Four X's. All right? And then I'm going to look at my Y's. So we have a two Y, and we have a, oops, and we have a negative seven Y, okay? So... Remember, if the signs are different, we find the difference. What's the difference between two and seven? It's five, right? So, and which one's greater? The seven is greater and it's attached to a negative symbol, right? So we're gonna do minus five y. Sorry, that's super light. Let me go back over that again. Minus five y, all right? And then we have our constants or our whole number terms. So we have five and negative two. Remember, if the signs are different, we find the difference when we're adding and subtracting. So the difference between five and two is three, and the five is greater, which is positive, so we're gonna do a plus three. So to simplify this first expression, it's listed in your book. They don't simplify it, but I thought it was a good example to simplify. It. So we would get four X minus five Y plus three. And then again, this one can't be simplified anymore because it doesn't have any other X's, Y's, or constants to simplify it. So knowing that, we are going to skip ahead on lesson 94 to example 94.1, which says negative 3x plus 2y plus 2x plus 3 plus 7. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to work our way left to right, identifying uh, the different terms and adding like terms. So first we're going to circle all of our x's, and we have a negative 3x and a positive 2x. So remember, if the signs are different, we find the difference. So what's the difference between 3 and 2? It's 1, so we're going to be left with 1x. And what kind of x is it going to be? It's going to be negative because the 3 is greater. And we're 
gonna talk about that number one in just a minute here, okay? And then the next term we have is a y. So are there any other y's in here? No. So we can just bring that down into our answer. And then we have whole numbers. So we'll circle our whole numbers. We have plus three and plus seven, or positive three and positive seven. Those signs are the same, so we just get to add them. Three plus seven is 10. All right, so that would be simplest terms. Now, as you move forward in algebra, when you have a variable and you only have one of them, you don't have to list the number one. So the, the way that you're gonna start writing these is negative x, we don't have to add the one, plus two y plus 10. All right? All right, let's do another example. Oh, sorry, the book's over here. <laughs> 3x plus 2m minus 14x plus 2x minus 4m plus 4 minus 2. All right, so you're going to get these long, ridiculous series of uh, terms or expressions. <laughs> And we're going to start with x. Okay, so we have a few x's in there. We have 3x minus 14x plus 2x. So let's, I'm going to do the easier ones first. 3x plus 2x is 5x. So then we have 5x minus 14x. Oops, that looks like a y. All right, 5x minus 14x. The signs are different. Find the difference. What's the difference between 5 and 14? It's 9. So we're left with 9x's. And then is it going to be positive or negative? It's going to be negative because the 14 is larger. So now let's look at our m's. We have positive 2m and negative 4m. Signs are different. Find the difference. What's the difference between 2 and 4? 2. So we're left with 2m's. All right. And which one's greater? 4 and it's negative, so it's going to be minus. And then we have our constants over here for our terms that are whole numbers. What's uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. So the answer when we simplify this is negative 9x minus 2m plus 2, and that's the answer. I know in math we're used to getting one number as an answer, but this is the answer for that example. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll move on to lesson 95.